today I'm going to be cutting this open on my 10 inch lapidary saw. And this is a chunk of dinosaur bone that I bought at a rock shop when I was down in Phoenix, Arizona. So today we're going to find out if I bought junk dino bone or if it was worth what I paid for it. Here is our chunk of dino bone. I'm not really sure which way to cut it. We're going to be making a bunch of slabs out of this in hopes to make some nice cabochons out of if it turns out to be beautiful. So let's get to cutting. Alrighty, so I have not looked, kind of popped it down on the bottom here, but let's slide this off and take a peek. Oh my, <laughs> I, I'm really happy with that. I think we're, <laughs> well, we'll see during the polishing process too when we get there if the stuff is super brittle like that or not. Oh, I think that looks really, really cool. I'm happy with that so far. Well, let's make a few more slabs and we'll see how I feel after that. Okay, so with our dino bone, I've made two more cuts in the slab and I took a different cut off of one of the ends or however you want to look at it. And this was the pattern compared to the original. My preference with it is I like the tighter pattern. I like that a little bit better. So I continued to cut in this way. And also when I did that, I also gave myself a flat surface to cut. The next slab that I made was really good. I love that. Really, really, really like it. This stuff on the end right here, I don't know why, it's super brittle. It just pops off. I could probably save that, I don't know. Seems, seems strong. I'll save that piece. So I am going to slab the rest of this bad boy. And actually, it looks like, looks like we're getting to a little bit of color right here. Hopefully that keeps running through and we get some more color other than this kind of clearish blackish white. So <laughs> I'll keep cutting and then we'll see you when we're all done. back inside and I got a majority of that dino bone slabbed up. We have so many slabs of it. I am so happy with how it turned out and I got it sitting down here to show you guys. I, I am really happy with the beautiful details inside this chunk. I know there's not as much color in it as some other dino bone pieces have that I've seen before, but I think it's pretty sweet. Ultimately, I ended up paying $20 for this chunk of dino bone. And after cutting it up and getting all of those amazing slabs, I definitely think it was worth $20. I don't know if I got a good deal or not. I don't know if this is even worth $20 or if it's worth much more now that we know what it looks like inside. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And let me know in the comments if you think I got a good deal or if I got ripped off. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.